Hi, I'd like to talk a little about a little bit about um, diversity, equity, and inclusion. That's the DEI there, and uh, I'd like to talk about how that can be used in the real world and uh, helped uh, improved by um, the community around the badge. So, um, my name is Matt Cantu Snell. I go by um, he, him, or they, them pronouns, and I wanted to put um, Ruth Ikega here as well. Um, she has been instrumental in kind of the construction and uh, execution of the slides. Uh, so I, I figured I'd have her on here too. Um, and let's get into the, um, starting with the DEI aspect. So um, for any of you who don't know uh, about diversity, equity, and inclusion, and for those of you who may not um, be as familiar, some people that may even know it very well, um, I, I'd like to talk a little bit about uh, what that background is. So we know the open source um, could use some improvement when it comes to the diversity, equity, and inclusion, um, specifically each of those distinctly, uh, the diversity of open source, the equity of open source, and the inclusion that is involved in, uh, in, in, in bringing new people to open source. Uh, there are plenty of examples, such as uh, my favorite one to bring up is the GitHub 2017 survey. They had um, concluded that 95% of contributors to open source are uh, identify male. And uh, it, it, we noticed that awareness is improving over time. Um, DEI is kind of being, it's, it's gaining steam uh, in this space. Uh, that people are starting to recognize that it's something that needs work and something that uh, improving it would be very helpful. So uh, let's talk a bit about, uh, get ahead of ourselves here a little bit and talk about how badging can help with DEI. Um, so a, a little background on badging. Um, badging in open source, or a digital badging in general is a way to uh, is a way to bring up uh, that someone or some group or some kind of entity has done a good job in something, and you'd like to reward them with. Uh, I know the hot topic word is a, is the micro credential um, that you'd like to say um, thank you for doing this, and uh, we'd like to we'd like to recognize that. So sometimes you'll apply for a badge, sometimes the badge will be awarded as a recommend as as a, a way to say thank you, and. Um, there are different flavors of badges. Open SSF, which is previously CII, provides a risk badge, risk-related badge for open source projects. I triply SA Open is working on uh, badges for their platform that are going to be more involved uh, with the platform itself. And a, a very common example for open source security is Black Duck Security Badge. As you can see, there's a there's a myriad of ways that these badges can be rewarded, uh, such as uh, projects or groups or even people, individual people. And what what we focus on for the chaos uh, badging that I'd like to talk about here is the uh, events. And uh, you may be wondering where this badging comes from and the context that I'm talking about it here. Uh, well, it all started with uh, with some words on a whiteboard. The Chaos Project is the project that I primarily contribute to when it comes to badging, and uh, it was founded in 2017. So it was started when a couple of colleagues of mine, Matt G and Georg L, I'll leave it like that, but um, it, 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 they, they were at the Open Source Summit, and there was a breakout where they could write down what they were interested in um, when it came to uh, things that things that we could talk about in those breakouts. So they wrote down community health and open source or something along those lines and the room was full so they knew it was something that we should that we should work on so it started it was founded as a linux foundation project uh we have lots of working groups um that we create metrics that we use to measure uh the, the health of a project uh, specifically projects events people all kinds of different things are the community health can be measured and we kind of create those metrics by which to measure it. Um, one of the working groups that I'd like to highlight here is the diversity, equity, and inclusion working group, where we focus on uh, things like a code of conduct, uh, the, the, a lot of event metrics that we'll talk about in a bit, and also the project and community, um, the ways that we can be more inclusive to people with disabilities, uh, providing accessibility, things like that. I won't go into too much detail about that because we're talking about badging here. So let's talk about that uh, DEI badging and the DEI working group. We uh, we, we put together all, all these metrics, but we weren't necessarily finding ways to apply them in the real world. So 
we were asking ourselves, how do we do more with our metrics? That I, I say it verbatim here because it was a really important question. We said we have all these, we have all this awareness. How do we move it to that application, the implementation side of things? Um, so what we, we had a Google Summer of Code project and a Google Season of Docs project. That's the high level, but what we really what we really decided is that we need to have a way to put a some kind of um, implementation in, in place and the badging initiative was kind of born from that um, we focus on open source technology events uh, and and we're always taking ideas for new events to reach out to uh, i've got an interesting tidbit here uh, is that it's inspired by um, the joss peer uh, open and transparent joss peer review system so we uh we, if someone submits an application, it goes through a GitHub issue, and that GitHub issue is open to everyone. Uh, it's really important that that's um, that's how it's that's how it's done because we want to make sure that everybody can do the peer review, not just the reviewers. <laughs> so uh, it, it's worth mentioning FOSS backstage. Three months in, uh, we started in 2020, and three months into the instantiation of this project, uh, FOSS backstage was our first badge, so it'll always have a special place. <laughs> and our hearts as, uh, as project maintainers. And we've gotten over 40 events um, kind of badged at this point. Um, and what, you may wonder why the badging is important, why it matters to us. Um, we have these, uh, these aspects of DEI, uh, diversity, equity, inclusion uh, of an event. Um, a code of conduct is one that I've mentioned before. It's also, we've also got things like event accessibility is coming in soon. Uh, family friendliness that is provided at an event. These are just some examples of what we like to measure when we're focusing on uh, DEI in an event. And event organizers, they've uh, we've noticed that people have implemented changes, especially in the measurement of demographics, and uh, sometimes in other aspects of things that will that need to be implemented in future iterations of the event as well. Um, such uh, well, we have we have that that family friendliness piece is really important. And uh, the ways that people can improve the event is, um, well, th th it might be better if, if, if we just go over that in uh, the repository in the breakout room. But <laughs> um, so, and, and it's, it's also important that we extend uh, that awareness to practice. So I'm kind of reading the slide there, but it's, it's kind of important as it is that we, that we take all this awareness and we do something with, uh, with what we know about DEI so far. And finally, I'd like to talk a little bit about why your input, um, your involvement in, uh, in badging will matter to us. We have a lot of great um, concepts. Uh, we, we come up with ideas for the project, but most of the, most of the best parts of the project have come from outside people saying, hey, this isn't a metric. Hey, this is um, something that we need to start measuring in these events. And that's why I say uh, we don't want an echo chamber. We don't want people with the same ideas, the same people all the time. Um, and, and that that kind of narrows the perspective quite a bit. And those outside perspectives uh, are really helpful in understanding what we could improve on and what we're doing well. Um, uh, to wrap up here, I'd just like to um, talk about uh, this is our list of major contributors. Every time I've presented about badging the last since I started doing this, I've been I've been putting this list of contributors and just people I want to say thank you and people ha who have been major contributors to the, both the beginning of the project and the current project. Um, we, we've got all kinds of people that aren't listed here, but uh, thank you to everybody um, who's who's been involved in the project. I, I, I have some last slide here with some links. Um, please take either this left link to apply to review um, for the peer review system in the uh, for, for KSDEI badging, or on the right side, you could apply uh, for a badge for an event that you may be organizing or a part of. Um, I think I think that's about it. I think I've covered it all. So thank you very much, and uh, I'll pass it back.